KD is an interesting guy, man. This is not KD years ago in OKC when he said, hey, you know, the, there are more important things in life than rings. And that sounded like excuses back then. And, of course, we all, like, you imagine MJ or Kobe saying something like that. These guys were killers. And, K and even then I thought, but you know what? KD is different. He's an interesting dude. You know, always has been. He's not just, like, parroting what everyone else says. Stephen A., I talk about, and we've talked about how he seems to have thin skin, burner accounts on social media, and getting the spats with celebrities and stuff like that. Uh, literally saying he's going to spit on Michael Rappaport. But I, I said, in a way, I've come to think of him in a way of, like, why do you care what anyone thinks? Well, it seems like he respects people. It doesn't matter if you have a blue check mark by your social media or not. He gets into it with fans because they're people. And he respects people's, you know, what they have to say, maybe too much in a way. Um, so he's just an interesting guy. I think what he's saying here is not what he said years ago when it sounded to me like, uh, it sounds a little bit like an excuse because you don't think you're going to win a championship. This t sounds to me like something you might like even less, Stephen A. Trust the process. This dude is about process right now. Oh, I respect boy. that. He's already got his championships. Now, I don't love the way he got them. He joined, he reverse, engi reverse engineered his greatness in terms of what a championship is supposed to mean because he joined a 73-win team that could not lose without him. Or even, you, just, you don't even need KD to join that Warriors team to win. They could have just had a normal all-star join that team. They couldn't have lost. It was KD, right? No, that's, I, but, but now he's got the championships. He's got the rings. It's almost like, oh, okay, media and fans, and everybody, oh, I need these rings. Okay, I got those now. Now I want to get to what I, I think is important which is his own development as a player. Now, I'm quite sure he believes that if, if he's advancing as a player and he has these guys with him, that he will win a championship. But, his, but to me, the way I hear this is I'm not focused on the result. I'm focused on the process. And that is, look, he's over 30 years old now. He's been around the world a million times, right? He's seen it all. He's talked to all different kinds of people and is reflecting the kind of wisdom, I think, here, that comes with age and that kind of worldly experience. He's thinking about the process, what's in front of him, what he has to do right now. The results will come. I have no problem with this remark, and furthermore, I'm buying it. Well, I don't have a problem with it either. I just don't believe it totally. I mean, the reality of the situation is you came to Brooklyn, New York. You passed up on going to the Knicks at Madison Square Garden. You're in the media capital of the world because Brooklyn is one of the five boroughs. We understand what it represents. You don't win the championship this year. Uh, if y'all are healthy and y'all are on the court and you don't win the chip this year, they ain't going to live it down. I can assure you of that. Times are going to be hard. You got media white members watching them and stuff like that. People talk about them being a bit truculent and acerbic, unnecessarily so. Just bad attitudes, particularly when it comes to two of their three stars. James Harden is considered a person to be on his best behavior, and he's been a pleasure to deal with for the most part if you talk to some people. But certainly that hasn't been the case with KD and Kyrie. Not that they care, nor should they. But in the end, here's the bottom line. You got to close. You got to close the deal. And, and if you're healthy and on the court together and you don't win, I assure you, walking the streets of New York City won't be too damn easy for you. You can't walk around with an attitude like, I'm just, this is about the process and it ain't about winning a chip. Not with this bomb squad you've assembled. Max Kellerman, you're on the record. This might be the greatest offense ever assembled. That's yep. what you said. Oh, you it is. Can't, it's going to be. Can't, you, you, well, I'm not, again, we're not disputing it. You cannot have those kind of superlatives or, 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 those, or, or, or those compliments uh, aimed in your direction and you don't close the deal. You can't, not New York. You can get away with that on Global City. You can get away with that on Global City. You can get away with that maybe in San Francisco, not Oakland, maybe in San Francisco. You cannot get away with that in Brooklyn, New York. No. I don't give a damn if it was Staten Island. You can't get away with nothing like that. In New York, excuse the, Even the, a, the, Brooklyn, the, the grammatical that's incorrectness. True. You can't, the double negative, you can't get away with nothing like that. Not in Brooklyn. Oh, that's hell right. no. no. You can't get away with hell nothing no. like that. The double negative is absolutely correct there. That's right. You can't get away with nothing like that in Brooklyn. Right. Brooklyn's been waiting for a championship since the Dodgers left town in 1957. The last championship they got was 1955. And New York hasn't won a championship since 1973 in basketball. You're right about that. I don't think that's what KD is saying. 
I think he's on a different, he think, he, he's, his thinking has evolved. He's like, I, I think he believes that they will win the championship. That if he, he, if he trusts the process, they will. I'm not saying, I don't think he's making excuses. He's like, look, I this is where won. I am. I'm just trying, I already won a championship. I'm just trying to get better. Could you imagine if KD, James Harden, and Kyrie get better? What do they, what, it's, it's over. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.